Hello everyone and welcome to another IA Roadkill Gaming video. We are playing Farming Simulator 19 and we are in New Woodshire with normal economy and trying to achieve 10 million in bank. We are playing on the PlayStation 4 and this is episode 33. Um, we are two and a half million in debt. Where's money? There's money. 2.6 million in debt. Um, but we're getting ready to spend, I mean, 2.3. And we're going to spend that 308, so why not? We have it. When we left you last, we had just put two new pallets on the eggs. We haven't achieved any new progress there, I don't think. And I left you with a question. I didn't happen to get an answer yet. The question was, um, I need more storage. Where would you put another uh, building, shed, lean-to, whatever? What type? And what would you put in it? Um... I did a lot of checking on my own and I actually made one purchase. Boy, that lighting is just so bad. Right here. It was kind of a no-brainer because it's the same same paint job, same everything. It's just a mini me. So actually, it is a mini me. You see that little rust spot right there <laughs> it's up there too anyway I like it it'll work perfect beautiful little thing here um what did we oh that's right everything's put away that's why I can't find anything let me grab the little one I don't have a name for this guy the little one Sure. Whoop. Stay in the truck. I think I might have rubbed that tire getting in there. Flotation tires make it hard to get in there. What do we got on the front here? We got a bucket. Uh, well, we'll scrape the pigs while we're over here. Oh, and I, speaking of pigs, uh, I said I wondered how many pigs we started with. Well, I went back and did some research, and on episode 8, we purchased two loads in our animal trailer over there. And in episode 10, the end of episode 10, we purchased two more. So we purchased 48 pigs. And we currently have 124. So we have doubled, more than doubled our investment. Which is nice. Drop off the bucket. Ah. Hey, what did I do? Oh, we're hooked up. Um, there we go. I knew it was one of those buttons. We'll top off the pigs here. That didn't take much. I think I just did it. And... One of the reasons why we bought this here building was so that we could put this in out of the weather. Ooh. Thought I saw it tipping. Yeah. It's, uh, it's close to being too heavy for it. Uh, yes, right there. 
So that's its new home. And I don't believe I should keep this little one over there in the uh, white garage because it may get in the way of repair. So I think we're going to leave it right here. And I think that's a good spot for it. He can sit next to the pigs because he likes the pigs. The pigs, the pigs are noisy eaters. Yeah, I do, I do not like cramming those together. Um, we need to figure something out. Put that away. Um, we need to buy a egg trailer. I think that was on my list of things to do. Oh yeah, egg trailer and BGA. How could I forget that? All right, let us Well, before we go to the store, let's let's flip through the catalog. All right, let's see. We can always buy one of these that we can take apart. I think this guy does it. And these guys do it. I don't have an IT runner. Metal techs, I think you can tear those. Oh, we have a metal tech. And I want a dedicated egg trailer. Um, what do we have under cotton technology? I think I've heard of people using this guy. I think that's too small. That is too small. Um, baling technology has trailers. Oh boy. Oh, not that one. I was looking at this picture. I don't have a fifth wheel hitch yet. I don't, I do not like the front axle jobs because I'm going to want to back it up. So, so far, all of those are a no. I don't have a semi yet, but. This one has kind of a long beak on the front. Well, maybe not. You need that for turning radius. Um, what is wheel setup? Oh. Wide tires and standard. Well, we're wide tires in this farm, but... Um, no... No, that's semi-trailer. Could always get one of these. I have one of those. I could get one without... A bale collector eases in the collection of bales. Um, manual loading. Oh, it doesn't have the option to take the guards off. This looks like this kind of looks like the other bale trailer. Um, Twelve thousand eight hundred. That might be a good idea. 12,800 for that bale trailer. I hope it has straps. Um, okay, we have that one under bale. Or low loaders. That's my other. Those are all semi. IT runner. 
There we go. Without support. Get the little lip on the edge to hold things on. 8,900. And he might be a little small. I don't like the ones that have the dippity doos because they're made for wheels, so that would be not good for us and eggs. Could always use this, but then I'd want to use it for something else. But it's only four thousand dollars. Yeah, but the back's not flat. Ixnay that. All right, so I'm thinking eight thousand nine hundred. I wonder which one's longer. That one or the bale trailer. Whoops. I think the bale trailer is longer. There. Doesn't that look a little longer? I think it does. I think we're going to go with this one. That will hold a plethora of eggs. Well, of course. We'll do those. No price difference. 12,800. We have an egg trailer that we will fetch from the store. Hey, and it matches this tractor. I hope it backs into that stall with the pallets there. We start harvesting this crop, we're probably going to want to buy a new harvester too. Passing. I'm kind of an aggressive driver on this game. I don't do that in real life. You shouldn't do that in real life either. Oh boy, that is a uh, 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 narrow. I'm um, having a little buyer's remorse here. Why is that so narrow? Whoops, wrong way. Does it have straps? Yes, it has straps. Looks like it might have enough. I wanted to put pallets side by side on this. Speaking of which, what's the egg price? The egg price is... what's... now... I didn't think that price was that high before. When we saw the great demand, I looked at it. Um, eight. Corn. Corn. Eight. Oh, yeah. Cor Oops. Corn, I've seen it. 1357. So, yeah, that is not good. Okay, eggs. We are at 26. Eggs are highest at 35, so we're not ready to sell yet. So, we need to purchase without a way to carry them. That was poor planning. Well, I was going to say we need to buy more egg crates, but let's go back. See what we think about this trailer. It just seems really narrow. I mean, it fits on the road nice. Plus side. 
The length is wonderful. She cuts the corners when you turn. I did that on purpose to find out. One little orange light back there. Or something. Oh, that's a hazard marker. I thought there was lights on the trailer. Alright. Let's get... I think I might have gotten all excited for nothing. Let's grab the Lillen. I guess that's the name of it. Lillen. We need spikies. My newfound pallet friends, fail spikes. But you have to be able to aim still. Now what I do? Oh, that's what I did. Don't go that way. You'll hit that other pallet. Left it a little crowded here, didn't I? Hit the flagpole. My goodness. Hey, I could store these on that pallet rack. Don't know why I didn't think of that. Well, you silly fork truck driver. Not a fork truck, but you know. Slide that forward. Set her off. That was too far. That's exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to spin it, but I didn't want to spin it that far. There we go. I have to look at it over here. That doesn't look too bad. raise it up into the roof. That would be silly. Let's see what we're going to do with the other pallet here. I don't want to shove it off on the ground. And we'll have scrambled eggs. We have plenty of room for two pallets. I don't know what I was so worried about. I am just a silly boy. That is perfect. We have found our new egg trailer. Not that we had an old egg trailer, but we have found an egg trailer. Oh, come on. Am I low enough? I'm not even angled properly. What the heck is going on there? That 
was a lot of back and forth trying to get over here, wasn't it? I didn't say I was the best driver. But hey, it's fun. Oh! Should have just left it right where it was. I think it might have slid off. There we go. Hey! Get your head out of the clouds. I thought I was going to hit it. Boy, that is a funny forking job I did there. The tines are underneath the middle board. There we go. I'm just gonna slide them off. But it's not gonna work that way. I don't like that. They're sliding up the spines. Yeah, this isn't gonna work very good. Oh, alright. What do I know? Alright. Let's square this up just a little bit. Wrong pallet. Oh, you knucklehead. Perfect. Oh, my goodness. Put a strap on that baby, quick. And those straps are perfect for eggs. This trailer was made for eggs. I'm telling you. Oh, we got a new egg box in the uh, right side there. The two pallets that we just set. I don't know why it doesn't start one pallet, fill that one first, and then move on to the next one. Instead of adding to every single pallet before it decides to fill one. That is just crazy stuff. Well, we won't have to stick the eggs inside the barn anymore. We'll be able to put them on the trailer as we get them. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Egg production is go. And we will throw a strap on that one just so it doesn't go anywhere. Safety first with the eggers. can't put that away yet. I gotta see where this is gonna tuck. I got a feeling it's not gonna fit in this shed where I wanted it to. Yeah, it might be a little long.
I wonder if I can do my little trick or if that's a ball hitch. I don't know if that's a ball hitch or a pin hitch. If it's a pin hitch, we're good to go. If it's a ball hitch, which it is, we can't hook up. Now, how oh, good. Wrong way. Well, it kind of went cathud, but I think I'm in. And I hit the pallets. Well, I think that's okay. Because just the hitch is sticking out. Yeah, that's a ball hitch. Too bad it wasn't a pin hitch. But normally the pin hitches have the front axle. So... I don't want that. It really should raise that up after you unhook it instead of dropping it so low. But that's just me. Alright. We can mark that off of the to-do list. I don't know why I back this in here. I hadn't planned on backing it in there. But I did. You know, we have an open bay now. What could go in that bay? I mean, to be silly, I could put this tractor in that bay, and that way all the track. Well, no, nope, there's a tractor over there. Never mind. Never mind the all the tractors in the same bay idea. Although... I could put the egg somewhere else. I don't need this, I just... I just did them. I need to... detach there. There we go. I think I just did the eggs, or the eggs, the chickens in the last episode. That's why there's nothing there. Alright, they've been scooped. Let's go park this. And let's go talk to a banker about buying the BGA. Not that, not that this. If we bought the BGA... Oh, it's over here. That is... 20, 227. We have 295,000. Alright. Let's pretend I bought it. Um, the next thing I want to do is put some bunkers in there, and I think, I know it's going to be red, but we're going to just zip it over there and see. You see those outlines? So... How do I... There we go. Um... That is too wide. 
Although, there's two sets of marks. It's, I'm going to say that's where the bunker goes, and that's the apron of the concrete clear out there. I'm not sure. All right, what's the large double? I don't think it had larges in here. I thought it was a large. Well, that's the width for it right there. That's just too small. And that is the medium. And then it jumps clear up to that. Um, it could have been for one of these. That almost looks like it fits right there. That is the bunker silo closed big. No. No. Almost needs to be longer. And it might be for something I haven't loaded. I kind of like the drive-throughs myself, though. Well, if we get the large double and put it here, I mean, I don't know what we would do with the other part of the property. It's going to put, we don't need the large one, we get the medium one. If we put it there, then we'd have room to put something in that. Lean to. All right. And then we can do some mowing and throwing some grass in here. Is that a plan? I'd really like to do something over here, but I don't know what it would be. Go out on a limb, I guess. I'm going to buy this big closed one. 
and I'll hate myself for it. Forty thousand. All right, Mr. Banker. I would like to purchase a biogas plant. Thank you. And we will purchase that large closed bunker and put it right there. All right. We need to do some mowing. That way we can put some stuff in there. Uh, we really don't need the baler now, do we? Hmm. We'll keep it for a little while. All right, I gotta find my to-do list, and okay, we talked about the pigs. I bought the BGA, I bought the egg trailer, and I'm thinking about buying dually tires for Big Blue, but not yet. Um, yeah. We are going to do some mowing. I heard there's some new fangled mowers out that you can cascade behind each other. I don't know if I'm ready to think about doing that yet. Alright, I'm going to do some mowing around here. Since the uh, farm is all cleaned up, we got some grass that's out here. So, I'm going to do that and then I'll get back with you. Yeah, I know I need to unfold it. That's what I was trying to do. There we go. Well, darn if most of my grass is not ready to cut yet. I thought it was. Okay, we're all done mowing. And I figured I had best start my new practice of cleaning things up right after I get done using them. I probably already forgot something, haven't I? Oh well. So, the grass fields that are grass fields um, weren't ready yet, which was unfortunate. So I mowed everything that's borderlands and yard so now we need to go get something to pick it up with 
And I'm thinking about getting the green thingamajig. I don't remember what it's called exactly. Green Mill, I believe. Oh yeah, if that's down, it catches. I learned this the last time. No, don't open it up. Don't open it up. Oh, that was close. No. Lower it down. Why won't it lower down? Lower mower. Circle. It wants to unfold it to lower it. That is so stupid. So we will drop it and let it tip over. That's what I was thinking about when I was talking to you about the weeders. I was thinking it was the weeders that wouldn't lower. It's the mower that won't lower. Kind of rhymes. All right, so we need to grab the grain mill. With that there menu, Green Mill is miscellaneous, correct? There it is. Milling machine is what it's called. Okay. Um, I'm thinking it needs to be red. This is kind of a red farm except for a few things. There we go. A thousand dollars? I think we're going to have Christmas colors. Oh. All right. I got to run into town and grab the milling machine. I'll be right back. So there is no unfold fold. What folds up about it? I don't know. Silly, silly, silly. Now I'm gonna do behind the shed here first. picking up okay it's got a dead zone there it doesn't want to work and there what's up
Not sure I'm liking this milling machine at all. What are the rules? It's down. Why won't it hoover? Well, that's bothersome. Alright, so why does it work and not work? There's absolutely nothing wrong with the grass. Why did it pick it up all the way to there and then stop? There, I got it, but why? Why is it fighting me? It's almost when I slow down that it doesn't pick it up. Now it's just being silly. What is absolutely wrong with that grass? You saw that coming, didn't you?
あAnd it's full. So, we'll just unhook. Tree must be blocking the road. And this is our BGA road. BGA bouncy road. Oh, that is huge. Oh my goodness. Um, I might have bought too big a one. Alright, so unload here. There it is. Oh, is this one of those ones that dumps out the back? <sighs> well... I'll be selling this. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm going to do that right now. I am going to get the vacuum and go hoover that up. And sell it and buy a different one. But I am going to do that off camera. I guess we have run out of time. I would like to thank everyone who stayed to watch the entire video. If you found it enjoyable, I would appreciate it if you would hit the like button. Oh, I want to make sure I... I bet I get more out of this. There it is, yeah. If you want to see... Ah, if you found it enjoyable, I would appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. If you want to make sure you see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you want to leave a comment, you may do so below. With that said, I would like to wish everyone, including you, a very wonderful day. Goodbye for now.